Hello everyone, I'm Ulugbek Nurmuhamedov. And I'm Randall Sadler. We're the co-editors of New Ways in Teaching with Games, published by TESOL Press. In this very short video, we'd like to give you a brief overview of the book and show how you and your students might benefit from it. New Ways in Teaching with Games offers over 90 chapters, each one showing how to use a different game in your classroom and including video instruction. Introduces traditional online and commercial games and explains how they can be used to practice language. Illustrates games that can reinforce language across the four skill areas and encourage both culturally and pragmatically appropriate language productions. And enriches language classrooms with a variety of innovative, learner-friendly games that are seamlessly tied to language practice. As those who use games in our classrooms know, games and gamification can have numerous benefits for our students. A few of these include, they create opportunities for negotiation of meaning. They also can motivate learners and turn repetitive exercises into meaningful and fun activities. They encourage active participation, as games often include winners, losers, awards, and other forms of recognition. Finally, they stimulate learners to use the target language as it is necessary in order to win the game. Based on the many entries we received, we divided the games into six categories. As we mention each one, you will see some of the table of contents for that section. Part 1. Traditional pen and paper games, such as Words in a Word and Outburst. Part 2. Dice games, includes options ranging from Honest Opinions to Story Cube Corner. Part 3. Board games, have classic options like Snakes and Letters and ones you may have never heard of like Turo. Part 4, card games, include a wide range of possibilities like King's Cup, Catchphrase, and Mafia. Part 5, the book also includes the most modern of technology-mediated games, online apps, and more, such as Minecraft, Quizlet, and Interactive Fiction. Part 6, finally, we have the section that includes all those great games that we had a difficult time categorizing, the miscellaneous games, like Hot Seat and Beach Ball Spelling Bee. Let's take a look at a couple of the games from New Ways in Teaching with Games to show how each chapter works. As you can see from the image of Rory's Story Cubes, each chapter is quite short and is set up as a lesson plan that you can use for your classroom. We designed each chapter to be easy to follow and include some key elements like levels that it's appropriate for, aims of the lesson, class time required, preparation time required beforehand, resources that you'll need, cost if pertinent, and then also the procedure, what you do before the game to prepare, how you do it during the game, and what you might do after the game. Finally, we also include some caveats and options that you might want to think about with this game. The link to the video is included, and also, when appropriate, appendices that maybe didn't fit in the book or are available online. Let's take a quick look at the great video from one of our board game chapters titled Augment Listening Through Snakes and Letters Reality. As mentioned earlier, each of the chapters also includes a video produced by the chapter authors that shows how to play the game. As we all know, sometimes reading instructions is simply not enough. As you can see in this video, Tony is guiding the viewer through the setup and play of the game in a way that you cannot do only through text. The videos average between 3 to 5 minutes and are a great supplement hosted on the TESOL Press website. We hope that you enjoyed this quick look at new ways in teaching with games. If you'd like to purchase a copy of the book, just go to the TESOL Press website and you'll find both the paperback and ebook formats available. Thanks so much for watching. 